Hi, I'm Luke from Garage Gyms Australia and today I'll be reviewing the Handy Gym Pro. Designed to be a low impact and low intensity full body workout. The Handy Gym utilizes a flywheel system as well as different weighted inertia discs ranging from 17 and a half kilos to 100 kilos worth of resistance depending on what plates you use. So let's have a look at what you actually get in the Pro Kit. Starting out with the attachment points. You've got the handle, which just slides on. You've got the board, again, it slides on here. And then you've got this kind of all-purpose attachment. And this is kind of your anchor point around trees, around posts, whatever it might be. And again, slides on, easily interchangeable. Then, you've actually got quite a number of attachments for it. You've got a lot. The belt, obviously for the board, doing belt squats, things like that. You've got Two handles, which you can utilize however you want. Usually I've been using it for pulling motions. You've got the ankle strap to do things like kickbacks with. And then for the longest time, I had no idea what this was. But I believe it is the, the door stopper. So I think you slide this under the door and you can attach the handy gym to that. And it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, let's talk pros and cons. Starting with the good, I love all the different anchoring points that come with it. Not to mention all the different accessories that come with it as well. It does make it usable as a full body workout. Now, would I swap around to all the different things during one gym session? Probably not, because while it is moderately easy, it is still annoying. But I think what they've done, especially with the push button release of the handles and things like that, they have made it as easy as possible for people. In terms of usability and functionality, how I'm using it, I must say that I got frustrated with it. If you don't follow the tempo of this thing, you're gonna spend forever winding it up there's no fast way to wind this up. You can try and do it really fast, but at the, end, at the end of the day, you just can't do it any quicker. So I'd say that's still probably the biggest downfall of this. I would love it if it did have like, almost like a fishing rod reel where it can flick out a lot faster, a lot easier. But then I guess you're, changing the design of the plates to incorporate a handle or you're making an adjustment somewhere else. Is it worth it? I don't know. Is the Handy Gym right for you? Well, straight off the bat, I'm gonna say this. I think they're marketing it to the wrong people, to be very honest. In all their videos, I see athletes in commercial gyms using it against a rig, and things like that. If you've got a full gym, a full commercial gym, you've got everything under the sun in there, you don't need this. You've already got enough. Where I see this working is with PTs when they go to the park. Hook it up to a tree, goalpost, fence, and you've got something similar or as similar as you're gonna get outside to a cable machine for your clients. The second place I see it being utilized is in physios. If you've injured yourself, if you've thrown out your shoulder or just come off uh, surgery, then yes, low impact, 
low intensity, perfect for building all those muscles up again. And then finally, if you're part of the older generation who hasn't been in the gym for a few years and you want to get back into something, then again, low impact, low intensity, perfect. Would it replace the whole gym? No. Could this easily be set up inside a bedroom, inside a gym that doesn't have too much? Yes. And that's what it is for. They are the people who I think should be buying this, who should be using this. If that's you, perfect, great. You've got a new, a new tool in your arsenal. If that's not you, then maybe keep on looking. If you did like this video or found any of it helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to let me know that you wanna see more of these things. And if there is something interesting that you'd like me to review, then let me know in the comments and I'll try and get my hands on it. As always, do it for yourself.